Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here. StringBuzzWorld.org being a music journalism site. Links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today. And it's the latest track by Depeche Mode. And that's Where's the Revolution. So I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for these videos. So I hope you enjoy. Before we dive into it, yes, the lighting is terrible. I get that. It's much worse than my last few videos. But I don't have time to be making videos tomorrow. So I thought I'd rush these all out in the evening. And at least I can get my point across or opinion across fairly decently. So enjoy i guess but even though i like some of their bigger hits i could never go so far to say as i'm particularly knowledgeable about depeche mode's discography material anything like that of the tracks i have heard however by the group it's obvious that they are lyrical masterminds and very capable of writing some very exploratory and influential music so shall we see what i thought of this brand new track well if i'm totally honest with you i thought it was an excellent excellent song and the best we've had thus far in february which i know we're only five days in but it's the best and I've listened to a lot of music in that time over 50 tracks so it's the best out of those 50 tracks it's brilliantly mixed it has subtle yet suggestive lyrical content that doesn't bash you over the head with a pretentious message or anything like that like other artists which have done in the last year it's got buckets and buckets of decoration and transitional flair and the whole song is just really well arranged and put together despite all these years and a couple of lineup changes especially recently they really haven't lost what made them famous in the first place too sticking an almost acidic electronic sound to the track that bounces between like tribal and primal type music to synth pop music and even trance at periods this track is much more tribal based and sort of i don't know a bit rockier maybe even grungier in parts but in an electronic state of mind but i actually thought this track was just so good Production wise the track is just about as perfect as you're possibly going to make it. The synths are rich and full of character enveloping the stereo field with tons of interesting timbres and tones exactly what I want to hear from an electronically based track. The vocals are dominant and raw never sounding pitch corrected or tampered with which again is exactly what I hear, what I want to hear from like a, an experimental electronic type track. The harmonies are bolstered and really add some fire into the big hook never sounding faint or like simplistic gang vocals. They've been excellently mixed here. Even the distorted guitar that is twanged in the background of the mix very faintly sounds relevant and rich with clarity and conviction. Nothing here just sounds thrown in or just roped together to fill in the low, mid or high ground. Everything sounds necessary and professional. The best production we've had thus far this year. When it comes to the musicality of this track, it's so exploratory and unpredictable and bubbly that it comes across as very refreshing in comparison to its modern day competition which there is quite a lot of actually around at the moment. Each section has a a significant moment or a strong melody or a dynamic change or even an instrumental variant or something along those lines it's just constantly developing and brooding building you up for each chorus just to knock you out with those howling vocals those strong sort of uh, harmonic vocals which just sound great even the bridge adds further technicality to the track with homophonic vocals cutting against each other and a huge instrumental progression change which works very well as well it all works in unison to create some really unique and interesting texture that I can put my hand up and say I've never actually heard before this track. I perhaps may have liked it to be even longer perhaps and stretch out into more adventurous avenues but perhaps that's just being a little bit greedy and did you count how many times I said perhaps in that statement? I will say that it's not the catchiest song though and not something that you can really hum or sing along to but it's not made to be like that so that's perfectly understandable isn't it really? Lyrically, the song is sophisticated whilst not being too over the top. It's subtle, as I've already mentioned, and I kind of like hearing a more broad scope that doesn't really lean anywhere. It's political without being overtly political, if you kind of know what I mean, which you probably don't. The vocal performance is also great and disguises any holes there could possibly be with the lyrics anyway, so all in all, a really good track that I have to recommend and the best we've had this week. So I gave it a G rating of 8.5 out of 10. If you like this review, then please leave a like, comment what you think in the comment section down below, subscribe to see more, to see you around next time. Bye-bye. <sighs>